All right, welcome to another episode. In this video right here, as promised, we're going to be showing you guys how to actually run a Rails app container with Elasticsearch. So in the previous episode, we took a look at um, creating a container and running it and linking it up with our Postgres service. In this episode right here, we're gonna be running uh, the Elasticsearch service, and then we're gonna link up our app container to the Elasticsearch service. Let's get started. So over here, I've got my terminal open, and I'm in my MovieDB app directory, uh, as you know, obviously. So what we're going to do is, um, you know, I'm going to run the Elasticsearch service first. So over here in Chrome, I've got, you know, like on the uh, documentation page for Elasticsearch um, image, so this is the official image, I'm going to use this command, you know, with a few tweaks because, you know, I want to set my own volume. So I'm going to run uh, docker run d name Elasticsearch and then v here we're just going to name it es config and then we're going to map the config to usr share so where am i getting the directory from it's from over here yeah so you know the documentation is telling me where i need to map my config and my data to so usr share um elastic search config and then i'm going to do another mapping for the es data so usr share elastic search data all right, so that looks good. Elasticsearch. And I'm gonna hit enter. Everything should be okay. And there we go. So from the previous episode, we had two containers running, the actual MovieDB one, so MovieDB web one over here and the Postgres. And now we've got Elasticsearch running as well. So what we need to do is we need to rerun our MovieDB container and connect it um, to our Elasticsearch service. So uh, I'm going to head over into the Sublime text over here. So I'm going to let me open up the text editor here, move that into view just like that. So in the previous episode, I promised you guys that I was going to talk about uh, the configuration. So here we go. Uh, I have uh, in uh, my initializer Elasticsearch.rb. And what this is, is a snippet of code that I've added uh, so that I can use Elasticsearch in production or um, in development. And basically what this does is it's going to check if I've set the environment variable for the host for Elasticsearch uh, and the port. And, you know, like when you're using uh, Elasticsearch in production, like in the cloud, uh, what can happen is you might have a username and a password. So you can go ahead and, you know, tweak this file as you need. Uh, but in this case, we only need the host and the port and that's going to work just fine. So we're going to stick with that uh, with those two and that's going to work for us. So uh, then we have this variable here, a uh, local variable within this proc, uh, which is Elastic ready. So if we have both uh, attributes set, then it's going to consider it ready. So, you know, th that's how I'm, you know, checking if I should use my own custom uh, URL for Elasticsearch or just default back to the local host one, which will work in the development uh, and the test environment. So yeah, so that's what I'm using. This is what this uh, proc does. It just checks that we have all the settings. We're actually in production. And then we run the production version of Elasticsearch rather than a development. And that's all that does. And here we just set the Elasticsearch model client. Uh, and then we set here, we use this part here to set the client URL. And then we just call the proc. And that's basically it. Then it's going to decide whether it's going to use the custom one that we have here or the development one. That's all this code does is, you know, allows us to choose which version of Elasticsearch we're using. All right. So once we have that, um, we already built this. So technically, you know, uh, if I go into here, uh, env.prod, so we can see here uh, that, um, you know, we have Elasticsearch host set to Elasticsearch and Elasticsearch port to 9200. So everything is already set in terms of the environment variable and the uh, um, and the settings. Uh, so all we would have to do now is rerun our container and link it to our Elasticsearch service. Now, when we link it, there's gonna be an error. What's the error? Well, let's take a look. 
All right. I know a lot of people don't like error messages, but actually I love error messages because, you know, they teach you stuff. Like they tell you, hey, you're messing up. You got to do this right or, you know, do that or whatever. But error messages are your friend. So, yeah. Okay, let's get back to it. So, yeah, I'm going to stop the um, MovieDB Web 1 container. Docker stop MovieDB Web 1. Um and then what we're going to do is to um, so let it stop over here. Uh, we're going to remove the container and then we're going to start a new one. And this time we're going to link it to the actual service. So Docker RM movie web one done. Docker run D uh, for daemon. And this time we're going to, I'm going to name it movie DB web one just like that and then here we're going to link so we have postgres postgres and uh, link elastic search elastic search all right um, and then we're going to do the uh, port so p 4000 4000 and um, yeah that should be it so movie and then sh bin web. All right, so once I hit enter, um, it should run. And there we go, it's running now, it's booted up. Let's take a look at the kydematic over here. Whoa, skip for now. Yeah, better. All right, so we have it running now and Elasticsearch is running over here. Um, so, you know, everything should be working. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the console and actually try to interface with Elasticsearch. Uh, so Docker exec IT, uh, you guys should know this stuff by now. And then uh, Rails C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the movie, um, the Elasticsearch uh, Rails library to create an index. And there we go. We're in the console now. So movie. Elasticsearch create index force true. So I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, error, error. So it's still um, using localhost. Oh, you know what? We forgot to set the environment variable uh, over here, the env file. So you know what? Don't worry. Uh, let me just quickly stop. And then we're going to, um, so I'm gonna remove the old container. And then we're going to re rerun the container. So I'm gonna use this command here. Um, so let me just re uh, rerun through it uh, one more time. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a container with the movie web one name, movie DB web one name, linking to the Postgres, uh, Postgres container. And then we're linking to Elasticsearch and then we're doing the port 4000, but we forgot to put the env file. And then we do equal and then dot env dot prod. So this is what we forgot last time. That's why it broke. Um, all right, so I'm gonna hit enter and this time it should work just fine. And so now I'm gonna go back into the console. So I'm gonna boot up the console over here. All right, so I'm in the console, movie, um, and then Elasticsearch. Create index force true. So it says index does not exist, obviously because of the new Elasticsearch instance, and then acknowledge true. So there we go. It found the Elasticsearch instance because of the, our environment variable, and it interfaced with it and is able to do everything with it. Now there's going to be an error. Um, so if I head over to the browser here and I do a search, I mean if there's nothing in the index, it's sure okay. It should be uh, empty, right? should just give empty result, but it's giving us, we're sorry something went wrong. Now, if I take a look at the kydematic over here uh, and read through the error messages, it's actually sending the query here. You can actually see the query. But if you read through the actual uh, error message, it's gonna complain something about operation ags and, and lang groovy are disabled. Now, what is that? Well, Elasticsearch by default doesn't enable uh, scripting and uh, aggregates, uh, apparently in the new version of Elasticsearch. So what we have to do is we have to stop the Elasticsearch instance. We're gonna go into the config file 
in the container, uh, in the volume, sorry, that we mapped. And then we're going to paste in a, a line of code that's going to enable scripting and AGs so that our uh, particular uh, implementation of the search engine works with the Docker uh, Elasticsearch that we have over here. So um, how do we get the config? Well, uh, I'm just going to exit from this console for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new, um, a new tab over here. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to type brew info um, elastic search. And so if you're on the Mac and using homebrew, um, you know, you're going to see like where the config folder is. So this is USR local Etsy elastic search here. So what we're going to do is just do go into that. So USR. So then, um, there's a file here called elastic search.yaml. And what we're going to do is we're going to VI into it. And I'm going to go all the way, uh, to the bottom of the file and it's right over here script engine groovy inline ags so i'm going to copy this over here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to docker uh, use docker machine to ssh into the actual um docker machine that's running our docker instances so as you can see here yeah so this is actually the machine the vm that's actually running our docker uh, containers so I'm going to go into the volume. First of all, we're going to stop the Elasticsearch instance. Docker stop Elasticsearch. In this case, we don't need to remove it because we're going to use the same container and rerun it. We're just going to change the configurations. So I'm going to uh, go into the root mode and I'm going to do cd var lib and then Docker and then uh, go into the volumes. And then we're going to see the ES config. So we're going to CD into that and then data. And here we're going to see uh, Elasticsearch.yaml. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert that line that we copied um, into the YAML file. I'm going to save and quit. So now I can go back and I can do Docker start Elasticsearch. And now this is going to boot up Elasticsearch with the new uh, settings. And basically, we will be able to run um, our search query now. Or not. Let's see what the problem is now. Well, actually, I think it was just booting up and it hasn't boot up properly just yet. Yeah, so it's still starting, as you can see here inside of the container. So once everything starts, I mean, we have nothing in here, but you can see that it actually works now by enabling that uh, feature in the Elasticsearch by going into the config file. Um, so yeah, so there we go. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys found that useful. Uh, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we really appreciate your support. And a, an update, I've been working really hard on the new version of the Codemy site. So that's coming really soon. Uh, some really cool exclusive content for our paid members are coming up soon. So look forward to that uh, and stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.